is going on guys? Welcome back to another vlog. So this week I am officially launching my new training app. I am super, super excited about it. I've been working on it for the last four to five months. It is strength training, mobility, recovery, and running programs all designed for runners. So as you can see, I'm here at home in the garage gym and today I'm gonna be going through one of the workouts on the app. There are different programs you can choose from. So if you're training for a 5K, a half marathon, a full marathon, or if you wanna follow the same workouts that I'm doing every single week. It's called the Strong Fast Far Daily. This gets updated every single week with the workouts that I did the week prior, lifting and running. And one of my favorite parts of the app is over here in the on-demand section. You have all these different on-demand workouts like kettlebell only, functional, at home if you don't have weights or equipment, a running warm-up routine, different workouts to build more explosiveness. But there's so many different features and metrics you guys can use to track and ultimately get better and become a stronger, faster runner. And today I'm gonna to be doing this upper body workout. So we'll go ahead and start the warm up, and we'll get into it. All right, so the first few exercises of this workout are gonna be some core. So we have kettlebell plank pass unders, kettlebell L sits, and kettlebell wood chops. So let's get started with some core. I started doing these L-sits a couple weeks ago with the kettlebells. They're so freaking hard. So I'm just gonna go for as long as I can, try and get like 10 seconds. We'll see how this goes. If you can beat this, I wanna see it, because these are hard. so tough. All right, core is all done. Let's swipe over. Next, we've got single arm kettlebell floor press. We've got four sets, 12, 10, eight, six. One of the other great things about this app is you can track all of your weights, your reps, your time, whatever the metric might be for each exercise. So for this one, first set of 12, I'm just gonna use the 26 pound kettlebell. And then after you mark it off, there's a built-in timer, so check off that you did it. Automatically starts that rest timer. And then as soon as that timer is up, it'll let you know, hey, it's time for your next set. And you do it and repeat. Super, super handy. The app basically walks you through every single workout, so it's very, very nice. My left arm's a little weaker than my right, so. See what we got next. So we've got kettlebell clean and push press. One of my favorites. Clean, push press. Clean, push press. All right, last couple of supersets here for this workout. We've got kettlebell narrow push up. Basically, put your hands on the kettlebell, use it as like an incline. A medicine ball also works fantastic for this. So I've got those to failure three times, and then we've got some barbell shoulder press, three sets of eight with that. So let's do it, be on the other side. Uh, 28, let's get 30. Uh. All right guys, that is the workout. I just wanted to give you a little teaser, a little introduction into my new training app if you are interested in downloading it and hitting some workouts like this one and many others. You can click the link down in the description. You can subscribe for either $14.99 a month or $99.99 for the year. So anyways, I'm super, super excited about it. If you guys have any more questions, let me know in the comments and we'll see you guys back in the house.
Saturday morning and I'm about to take the dogs for a run. I've got 10 miles today. I'll probably take them for the first three to four miles. It is 62 degrees outside right now. It was like 20 degrees a few weeks ago. I'm wearing three inch shorts and a tank top and it is the first week of January. I'll take that. I might die during the summers in the heat, but to be able to run all year round, it was pretty dang nice. Now I'm not currently following a specific training plan. I'm in between preps and races right now. For the last month, kind of just been doing maintenance miles around 30 to 40 a week. But starting on Monday, January 9th, I will be starting my prep for the Boston Marathon, which I'll be working with Coach Will Nation. He's based here in Austin, Texas. Absolute stud. He's a three-time Olympic trials qualifier. He runs like a 213, 214 marathon or something stupid fast. So he's gonna be programming all my workouts for Boston Marathon coming up here in April. Super stoked for that, stoked to learn some stuff from him. It kind of takes a lot of the thinking out of things. Um, I can just, you know, pull up my phone. Hi, say hi, Magoo. Say hi, Magoozies. But for today, I'm gonna go hit 10 miles, take these crazy guys with me. So we'll see you out there. All right, before we dive any deeper into this video, I wanna take a quick second to talk about our sponsor, Forces. So as you guys know, Forces has been a sponsor of this vlog for a while now, and it is for good reason. Forces is a brand that offers super high quality products specializing in performance apparel, but not just that. They have so many other products that I wear casually on a day-to-day -day basis, whether I'm here at home or going out to do something with Brie, I'm almost always wearing something Forces. So I thought I'd take the chance to show you three of my favorite Forces pieces. All right, first and foremost, these are the Forces Mercury Runner 5-inch performance shorts. They're very minimal in their aesthetics, but super rugged in their build. So that's what makes them so versatile. There's a pocket on each side. There's also a zipper pocket here. There's a drawstring, so you can tighten them or loosen them. And one of my favorite parts is this liner on the inside. I love shorts with a liner because you don't gotta wear underwear with them. They also make these ones in a topographical pattern in green. Next up is the Essential Tech Tee. These come in black, green, and a long sleeve for when it's a little bit colder out. It is a polyester, cotton, and spandex blend. So it fits nice, it's nice and soft, and it's a little bit stretchy for when you're working out. And again, very minimal aesthetics, which means you can wear it pretty much anywhere. And last, but certainly not least, is the Ranger crew neck. I'm actually wearing this later on in the video that you're watching now. This one is a blend of cotton and elastane, making it a little bit stretchy once again, but also very, very soft. It's got the Forces logo here on the chest. And I actually just discovered this the other day. I actually didn't know that this even was on here, but there is like this secret hidden pocket right here on the side. This one also comes in black as well. Just like most of the stuff that Forces produces, it is minimal in aesthetics. You can wear it on a run in the gym, going out to dinner. I'll wear this on a date with Brie. She doesn't even notice. I love it. I can wear it literally anywhere because of its versatility. This brand is so easy to talk about because I use it on a daily basis and it is something that I truly use and believe in every single day. So I highly recommend checking them out and make sure you use code JM15 to get 15% off your order. All right, back to the video. All right, 10 miles, here we go. So pretty much every day of the week, I run at least two to four miles with the dogs. Generally every morning we come to this park and I let them off the leash because there's never anybody here. And they just, they run around and they go nuts. They got so much energy. How do you run three, four miles and then just have so much energy still? I don't get it. They're freaking crazy. All right, we've got about half a mile 
left in this run. Just started sprinkling a little bit, cooled things down, and I love running in the rain. I don't want to do it every day, but I enjoy it when it does happen. Just one of those things that kind of makes you makes you more present and for lack of a better term, makes you feel a little bit more alive, if that makes sense. I don't know, it makes you feel something. I like it. So let's wrap up this last half mile and uh, we'll see you back at home. Great way to end the run. breakfast I've got a bowl of fruit I've got some raspberries blueberries and strawberries and I've got two pieces of sourdough toast with peanut butter jelly and honey and then I've got about six ounces of ground beef with four eggs I eat this breakfast pretty much every single day I don't switch it up too often one because it's simple it's easy it takes me like 10 minutes put together. Two, it's super healthy. It's all whole food ingredients. It's all natural. There's no seed oils or any artificial stuff. It's all natural, all whole foods, super good stuff. And third, I know about how many calories are in here and what the macros are. So I don't have to worry about trying to track my food every day if I just basically eat the same thing every day. So it keeps everything super, super simple. Plus it tastes good. So that's a bonus. I'm gonna eat this. We'll see what Bree and I are doing later today. So we'll see you then. All right, so tonight we are doing another day out of the Adventure Challenge book. And tonight we have to recreate a memorable date from one of our parents. We have to attempt to create it by wearing similar things to what they wore and where they went out to eat and what they talked about. So we are recreating one of my mom and Damon's first dates at Tacos Mexico in Casper, Wyoming. So we are going to Lupe Tortilla here in Round Rock, and we're kind of wearing similar attire to what they wore back then, like, I don't even know, 20 years ago. Here's the <laughs> photograph we took with the Snapchat filter, because Damon's bald. Well, that looks great. Luckily <laughs> for me, I wear this on a daily basis, so not too shabby. But okay, Jeremy, show me. Jeremy looks like he's going to a hockey game. Or okay, we've got the dress shoes. We got the jeans. I never wear jeans. Belt, never wear a belt. And a nice dress shirt. This is actually a nice shirt, but I would rarely wear it tucked in. <laughs> but you know, I guess this is what people dressed like almost 20 years ago. So we're doing it. We're gonna grab some Mexican food and that is the vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bingo!